Hi gang, it's Jeff. Hey, today I'm going to talk to you about something that is really, really important, and that is regret and your finances. I read a lot of the comments that are posted on the videos here, and I see a lot of people talking about what could have been, what they could have done if they had just started in their 20s or 30s or 40s in some cases, maybe even 50s and 60s. And I'm here to tell you that regret is not a healthy emotion when it comes to your finances. Let me explain. There's a term called ruminate, and that means when you think about something over and over and over again, and it consumes you over time. We've all done it. It's particularly easy to do now in the current situation we're all in, but even in the past, it's easy to look back and say, I wish I had done this. The problem with that thinking is that in your mind it's game over and the act of ruminating is effectively relitigating the outcome of something that's already happened, meaning that you can't change, most of the time anyway, you can't change the past. And by thinking about it over and over and over again, all you're going to do is create a situation where you can't also change your future. Let's just say I was 60 years old and I had no retirement savings. And I was resolved at 60 years old to the fact that I was going to be poor forever. I had a lot of war stories about how I had a great time and how life had been difficult. And believe me when I tell you, I understand all of that happens, which is the reason for this video. But at 60 years old, you have an option. You can think about what you can do now, or you can think about what you had then. I can think of two things right now that a 60 year old could do immediately to change their finances, regardless of the fact that they don't have retirement savings. The first is to establish a part-time job or a part-time income stream. It doesn't need to be a job. It could be something that you enjoy doing that you can take with you into retirement. And until you retire, it's something that you can use to build some level of retirement savings. The second thing you can do is look at your expenses now and see what activities, maybe even extreme activities that you can engage in to cut those expenses. Are you covering costs that somebody else should be covering? Are you living in a state that's really expensive? Are you living in an apartment or home that's too big? Are you paying for gas from one gas company where you should be looking at other gas companies, etc.? The point is this, if you live in this endless loop of rumination, you won't be able to think bigger. And thinking bigger is the key to enjoying the next part of your life. Thanks for watching. Recently, this channel received the YouTube Silver Creator Award for reaching 100,000 subscribers. So for those of you that have subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you get alerted the next time I post a video. I post about twice a week. I have some exciting information planned for you in the months ahead, and I don't want you to miss anything.